Hey y'all, it's me Tasha C and I'm doing a Black Ink Season 2 whatever episode, it's 8, yeah, it's actually episode 8, I remember this time y'all, I'm a little bit late, delayed with my videos and I just got caught with my uh, comments, thank you to all my subscribers, supporting you fellow YouTubers, uh, um, I had a little technical difficulty since Tuesday night when I was originally supposed to catch up with the Black Ink and the Christie. Um, Mrs. Jones, Mrs. And Mrs. Jones, whatever. All of a sudden, 10 p.m., the, we have ATT Universe, so everything just shut down. And I mean, the internet's off, the TV's working, both my parents have house lines, the landlines go figure, I don't mean to say something, but you know, so it was only, we was on that one phone, so we just, it was on cell phones and stuff, so I had to zoom the library, try to turn in some work that was due. But two out of my classes, you know, that was however went online. I'm not sure to make it short. So, anyways, y'all. So, we, I just it got a few hours ago because it was between either um, when's I mean, the latest. They could have came tomorrow. So, that kind of put me behind. I mean, I recorded some episodes on, I mean, whoops. <laughs> I meant to say I seen some episodes. So, the rest of the stuff I'm going to catch up with, like Preacher's Lay, everything. So, I'll try to, if I can't get it all in today. I'll try to get it Friday or maybe no later than this weekend. But that's what had me delayed because of the whole, you know, um, thing with that. But just let y'all know, whatever. I can't say this about Google+. Plus. I know this is random, but I want to say to all my fellow YouTubers slash subscribers, subscribers, just in general, viewers, and comments. Even though it's, it's kind of bittersweet, you know, because I do like it that, you know, I share my videos and share other fellow YouTubers' videos. But I had, like, two little incidents. I try to share one person's person cable crabs. I watch this video, and then some troll hoe try to sit there and like say some comment like, "Oh, this is a porno dog," and try to want to comment. So I was not able to in delete the thing because it's like, "Oh fuck no, you ain't about to sit here and mess with my video." And then try to get the other person, I mean, mess with my comment and twist it around on which flag or whatever you're trying to accomplish. Delete, delete, <laughs> and then you able to mute the person. And yesterday, a troll hoe came to my channel and I got, you know, the instant emails and stuff because I was doing work and I was just, you know, checking out, you know, the emails and stuff and especially, like I said, you're doing some classes online and some troll hoe, you know, came to one of my damn things and tried to share the video and call me everything from nappy headed to morbidly obese and call me a whore. You know, there's no wrong with disagreeing, but there's a difference of disrespect and troll with the troll holes. So now with this lovely benefit of Google Plus, um, like I said, if you just go on somebody's channel and you somebody says something you don't, you know, and they on some stupid shit, you go ahead as far as you watch and you make a comment and you can leak that shit and mute them. But when it's your channel, y'all, and somebody says something really out of line, you can ban them motherfuckers and unless they screenshot the shit, whatever they said, everything's gone. So, whatever, you know what I'm saying? There'll be others, whatever the case is. Y'all can take that shit elsewhere. I'm not having it on my channel, okay? This is fun, entertainment, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, let's get into this fuck shit. I'm getting my point over here. Like I said, I'm Angie. Everything's back. I'm back. Let's go. <laughs> All right, y'all. Now, it's a lot of fuck, interesting fuckery going on this session, and we're just going to tell real quick. Now, that's, you know, as usual, they're so busy, they're sitting in the front, you know, the front area, and Tiffany, as usual, her job, I guess, is to sit at the wall, because, and stand at the wall, because that's all she does, and then she's allowed to say a couple words now, and, you know, one of Teddy's mixes comes in, she wants to get a tattoo, I guess, done, but they, she, they never showed it at all, because it touches who I noticed has a lot of bravery in the confessionals with certain shit, you know, they say what she want to give, but she says she doesn't know, now, she sat here, and just, I remember just last episode, she did this one chick's tattoo, and this one chick's tattoo cut it in her hands. So the girl didn't know what the heck she wanted neither, but because that's just, you know, figures that's one of Teddy's mixies, she wanted to sit here and talk shit to her and everything like that. But you could have just sat here, not to say, you know, that is a little sometimes a little more time-consuming trying to find out, especially if the person has no idea. But I'm just saying, you admitted that you kind of just did what you want with this other person, but yet when it comes to this, with the Teddy's, um, one of Miss Missy's chicks, then all of a sudden you have a problem. Girl! Miss Marie Antoinette Dirty Duchess, because that's what the fuck her new name would be, Dirty Duchess, okay? So anyway, Dirty Duchess 
is talking about the whole thing. I mean, also the girl's baby mama, some irrelevant conversation. And that's when old shit has to realize that, of course, that somehow he has a disease that's called allergic to common condoms and condom scents. And so he decides to tell us about this girl, the girl that been pregnant. Then let's go to next. Oh, what, what else? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, now kidding. I've heard about him, but I haven't, like, you know, listened to his shit. I mean, we hear some in the background, but I don't know yet, say, if his stuff is, like, you know, worth, like, looking into and stuff like that. Um, so, I might check him out. But <laughs> this is funny as hell, though. I don't know what shit Duchess was all that she got dicked out by the ex-boyfriend that night before, or whatever, was drunk as fuck. But now, he came in, she's met him Callie, and he was trusting her with a tat. But like I said, I will give credit where credit's due. Dirty Duchess can actually, when she tattoos not, uh, nine, nine point seven out of ten times she actually knows she's pretty nice with it okay especially since she kind of like newbie to the game she's only been in like three to four years i think she hasn't been in a tattoo game that long i think so she, you know and also the actually species so you know she's versatile but i don't know what the fuck he told her he wanted a puzzle and she was got a freelance idea girl uh the girl i don't mean to call her but you know the girl sat sits there and i'm thinking now what is considered the tape I thought was the sun. Didn't y'all think that? I thought it was the sun. And then I thought this piece, the pencil, the mic was actually a pencil. Okay. So, um, I I'm just saying, was that like, what type of damn Pictionary shit? What she can't Pictionary shit? What she calls up, put on these pictures. And the just come in and try to say it's too much going on. No, don't admit whatever bullshit she trying to say to the dude in the like and tat, whatever the case was. But that was an insult even to her artwork. Okay, you know what I mean? She all trying to say, I know what I'm doing, some of that she's needing respect, and I'm an artist too. You're not today. I mean, you may be an artist, maybe, you know, one of the artists who, who like likes art. You know, like me, for example, you know, likes crafts and stuff like that, whatever, but you know you can't really do the shit. <laughs> so anyway, y'all, um, I'm just saying that. I don't know what she was on when she did that shit. I'm just saying that's an insult to her work. It is an insult to blacking. It is a blink insult to everything. But the dude liked it, whatever. He, you know, what? okay, whatever. So if he likes it, he likes it, okay? Whatever. But I, I don't even want that shit. Even the motherfucker paid me. Uh, anyway, so um, now we got here the situation that I want to bring up. I'm going to take these notes out. Because I just, I'm just going to go, go off on here. What I remember things important to me talk about. Now, what, you know, the baby mom was coming in and it's somebody that was high school sweethearts and they ended 2009 for three years. They've been involved with each other. But then it kind of confusing me because it's like, okay, you have a 10 year old son and you have almost damn near 10 years worth of child. So, so where the hell did this, this baby come from? Uh, now I can only sympathize with his ass only if say it was one of the rare situations that the girl that the girl, you know, got pregnant and she went the fuck away, didn't tell the, you know, father went somewhere else away, like out the country, out the state, out the, you know what I'm saying? And then come back 10 years later, my bow, here's your kid, you know, some shit like that. But at the same time, never let know, you know, you know, one of them rare, weird, almost only found in some lifetime movie shit, okay? Uh, but <laughs> what I'm saying is, it's like, that's still a question mark. So now they focusing on, you know, you know, here sees, of course, trying to say that might be a crazy big mom. Worry about your own shit and, and, and whatever that heifer's name is. Tiffany, well, I forgot what that child's name is, okay? And he didn't worry about his own situation with Duchess and her basically able to work with her dick on the side that she handles on occasions because you we about to get into that. So basically, to make a long story short, they're just talking shit. And then, you know, it kind of was weird that Teddy's talking about what they're talking about. Mary. But see, Tiffany's ass, Tiffany on the wall, which she, you know, whatever, had to make sure she says something because it's like when the girl come in, um, here's Teddy saying thing. I don't know since this girl's pregnant because, you know, Caesar said that he didn't know even if these girls exist because nobody's seen this true before and you know, his other baby mama or whatever the case is. So, um, I forgot. I think there's somebody else, you know, this is because old shit didn't even know until the first scene that about Walt and his situation about to have another kid and shit like that. And that's when, you know, I just wish I can remember to tell y'all that. So anyways, here comes the chick, and it's kind of like everybody's acting funny. So, but then Teddy got nursed even a minute to say the word bitch a little casual. Even, I can understand why she was looking kind of funny, because he's just like, unless he can marry three women. Dude, you can't eat. No, 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 no. Just stay away from getting married, dude. Go flex your shirts and try to pretend like the muscle shirts and shit, and you got that six-pack that everybody <laughs> that, 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 that must be under there. 
Okay, I, I'm just saying, I think that's why he wearing them shirts. Because, I, you know how you get the most muscle shirt, man, and they won't be sitting up here and they wear them shirts to try to, like, flex their muscles and shit. And I think that's what Teddy, I don't know, but I'm just saying he kind of wears them like they're supposed to make him appear like, you know, he just got guns and shit under here. And, and, and he might be, I'm just saying, I mean, he's trying to get the muscle shirts in. <laughs> so, anyway, <laughs> um... He was talking about he can't get married. That's up for y'all. But like I said, Tim was gonna go ask, you know, are he's gonna basically he's gonna pin rent. What is y'all gonna do? Blah blah blah. That was not her fucking place. Her place is to sit at the wall and look goofy as hell and have no relevancy to the goddamn shot or the goddamn show. Y'all already know what I said the last thing. Okay, that GPS I still can't give a fuck and find give a fuck to find with her ass is still pinning. Better yet, the GPS is broke. It can never be found. Okay, and especially the Duchess ass too. It is indefinite. Okay, to both of them. Okay. So anyway, y'all, um, so they go out to talk, and that's when the girl decides, says, you know, basically have this irrelevant argument. You need to get your shit together. It's time for three years, but coincidence, you only bring this up because Tiffany on the wall decides to make sure she has a couple lines to get at the extra 20 bucks per minute of her scene in order to, 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 to hopefully, if they have a third season, will come, you know, on, on, you know, you know, stay in the show and stuff. But I'm just saying, overall, it's like, Come on, so, uh, whatever. So they basically doing a regular argument about, you know, you better get yourself together. I'm sick and tired of this. I've been with you three years, but I'm only saying this because she brought it up. So I was just going to slide on you. And then Walter's like, I, you know, I don't want to just get married or put a ring on it just because, you know, just one of them conversations. Next. Okay. Now, what's another part I have to bring up? Now, you got Puma and old shit. And Puma's basically trying to get information from his vials basement. Can he go to, um, go to Atlanta City for his bachelor party. And, of course, the real reality is this dude, dude still has an open gun firearm cage and stuff, stuff like that. And, you know, the Bible's what they say, unless you are taking us with you as escorts, and you, uh, as escorts to file y'all and got to two separate rooms and stuff because they read your name, they're just going to take you in just because, you know, you have a, uh, a file charge opinion and you leave it out of state on top of that. So that means that, really, it's a less, you know... Uh, uh, Unless bitch one is paying for the shit, I wouldn't pay for the shit neither. Mm -mm. We'll FaceTime each other, bro. Did that, you, you know what I'm saying? Look here, look at the holes in the back. That did the ass clap, ass clap. Okay, okay, you, you still over there? You still over there? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You you get a FaceTime video on that. Mm -mm, that mm -mm, mm -mm. I love you, but I don't like your ass. So so um, so. Anyways, the next thing is. We got to see what well, oh shit. And, you know, again, like I said, C's notice. I noticed that he decides to sit here. And make sure that he focuses on everybody else's relationship or bras or holes on the side or whatever the case is. But he never, it seems like he kind of stays away from um, Miss Dutch's situation, right? So, when we get to this point where the baby, uh, um, when um, Kathy's supposed to come in, it turned out this heifer is crazy. But oh, that's oh, she's fought to a certain extent because she has no right on his hands on him, and she's lucky that he has not knocked her into the neck on um, the the neighbor's um um house apartment, wherever the hell they live at. But what I'm saying is, is that he the last time he messed with her supposedly or did anything with her was six months ago. But it's like it's your fault, bro. You keep fucking with her, she keeps fucking with you. Y'all obviously love the drama. Must be some good crazy ass sex, whatever the case is, because you know this bitch is crazy. And she needs to realize now, all of a sudden now, the only thing I can agree with her about, because, you know, again, I noticed how she was wearing these certain bright-ass colors. She obviously purposely was wearing black in, the, black in the first scene, I mean, the first um show, episode, in order, because she was going to make a killing, you know what I mean? And she was planning on doing damage or doing a funeral, not a, like a real funeral, but her intentions was to harm and cause, you know, a funeral, you know, a kill or even kill the good mood that was in that place. And then when she kind of mentored herself, it's like, girl, you had a warning sign for the get-go because she, she even admitted that he said he wanted to have international line of babies everywhere. And he, she was like, now nah, you're going to have to you have Megan, Black, and whatever. So it's kind of like, sweetie, whatever mess that you are taking, stick with them because I noticed she was kind of calmed down, but she was just like, I, I pray that I, you know, say, baby mama, have my career together and talking to Woosaw, whatever case is. But it's like, sweetie, I still don't really feel sorry for your ass because, you know, it's like, you're coming at the women. You had no right to attack the girl. You keep saying some other woman, even, and I don't know how long ago that was taped or tape, whatever the case is, but the bitch didn't know nothing about you. Or me. I mean, I'm not going to call that lady a bitch because that's her term. Is. Let me call her a bitch. Bitch, if the, uh, the lady, other lady, AJ, whatever the young lady's name is, did I know about it and I come for you or come for your baby? 
it, it's like this. You're sitting here and taking your anger out of anybody, okay? What Ocean's supposed to do is be a father to a son, okay? Because uh, it's toxic with y'all even being involved with each other. Because now she's like, I got to love you before I still love you. But it's like I said beforehand, just because you have kids with people, that's because you fuck them, whatever kids even say hi, that does not mean you owe them. You're not supposed to own nobody anyway, okay? But you get what I'm saying. So it's just like she was kind of saying, like, dude, you need to stop putting yourself in a situation. That's the only thing I agree on. Not like I said, I'm not giving her credit. And I love that pretty shirt for some reason. I, I was liking that. Because like I said, they first went into she went to, with with the baby and brought him in the shop, or whatever. Then I think he took her in the back and told her. But consider her reaction and stuff like that. We'll see for now. But it was kind of like it wasn't that bad consider how she was the last time. But I guess she's in happy, somewhat trying to be more in happy spirits, although she's taking back some meds, got medication, or so whatever the heck she's doing. Because I noticed She's trying to be more happier in her her aura, or at least what I see. You can, I don't know if you can see aura, but you get know what I'm saying is it's kind of like you know, girl, get your shit together. If you ever get a chance to see real life, apologize. But you know, I didn't know she talking about someone. I that my son is gonna have you know less time with his dad or whherever the case is and whatever you know whatever blah blah blah. As you gotta say it's like sweetie. Hmm. Why are you getting into that? So here's the drum roll part. I really want to discuss and talk about because um. Um, first, we're going to fast forward. As we know, Duchess is a manipulative-ass bitch. Dirty Duchess, as I call her. Marie Antoinette, off with them, uh, and let them feed them cake. She is going to play out that damn heart thing out to a T. You don't sit here and play with illness, sweetie, whether you have something or not. Okay, and for her to use that as her excuse, and it's a shame because, you know, people don't think some people lie about anything, everything, but fortunately, we all know, like I probably said before a couple videos ago, unfortunately, that happens. And so I, and we all know somebody, friends, family, members, whatever the case is, that have, you know, chronic illnesses and stuff like that. And, you know, I personally take the fist too, like, bitch, that doesn't give you right, so that makes you a hoe, it makes you manipulate that bitch, and it's not like, it's rent, it's like she, she's know what the fuck she's doing. On top of that, so this is, I paid attention to a couple things, maybe y'all have too. Now, did y'all notice, when she went to go to this meeting, took Tiffany, Tiffany's supposed to be her so-called alibi, and I also think she takes her too, because you like I said, Tiffany ass kisses Duchess. Duchess has become a product of because she's allowed to push people off the edge and let them fall. And it's like you let her get away with so much she could get away with. So some people, you know, even with the intentionally, you know, bad, good or bad, sometimes you keep some you keep doing certain stuff. And as long as you keep we keep doing it again, you're gonna keep doing it, you're gonna keep doing it. So in this heifer's case, she's gonna keep on pushing it and that thing. So now she brings her dick on the side with her and even gonna go to business with her. Because I, I, I truly do believe that she is fucking this dude. And because when she went to meet y'all, dumb shorts. I, I'm saying that she, not to say Duchess does not wear anything fitting or, you know, or wear short shorts or dresses or anything that shows off her physique and everything else, right? But she went in there with a shirt up to here and booty shorts. That's what they, you know, whatever, had on. It seemed like she was wearing less going to this meeting than she was any other time you see. She was damn near wearing a swimsuit compared to what she usually wears. I mean, like I said, it's not like we don't see no Duchess with a real. And also, did you notice how she made sure she had her makeup done and stuff for Kid Ink? But when she was lounging around the shop, she just had nothing. I'm, I'm just saying, you know. And also, it's another part, too. I think, you know, um, C's was doing some dude, Demetrius' cousin or something like that, this tall, giant-ass dude who did some model tattoo. That was kind of nice, whatever. And they were just saying how their moms inspired them to choose the careers, even though they used to be bad as hell as kids, stuff like that. Okay, let's get back to the main event. So, she's bringing Tiffany, and then here's Duchess already has him on cue to tell us some confessionals and also tell C's and his other family members. It was another sister he has named Sophie and his brother Ty or whatever. And... She got the nerves out that lady to sit here and say she didn't know the dude was coming. So if you supposedly not know the dude was coming, why do you take you and Tiffany out of that situation and be like, uh uh, I'm blah blah blah, I'm gonna take it. But you know, you had attention. Then first you claim one minute to a certain point that you want to work with C's to his face and but you're letting his confessional and all the other times like I'm basically fucked C's in order to get myself um up higher in my career. Okay, I have really indirectly have no intentions of really being with C's at the end. I'm just going to get what I can out of him and whatever and just keep on moving. And it's proven in this motherfucking episode because 
even she made sure she sat right on you. And then the conversation, the dudes was like, we only want to work with you. We don't want to affect what you're doing. And then they're making it seem like it's, um, she's, you know, is he comfortable with this? He's comfortable. And, you know, here's Duchess. You know, this is corporation. You know, this is all about Duchess, Duchess, Duchess. And, you know, Tiffany just sitting there like one of them puppies and stuff like that. And I'm surprised she didn't say anything there, wherever the case is. You know, she just, you know, but here she is. Like I said, Duchess has been allowed, and, you know, D you know, Tiffany usually kisses her ass or usually at the wall, as usual. Dirty Duchess feels so fucking comfortable with this stuff. Here is right in front of her face and for the world to see that she pretty much is fucking this dude and about to go to business with him, okay? And, you know, they probably was laughing about this all the goddamn time because... You know, they talking about the business, about this T-shirts and blah, blah, blah. And does try to make it say it's a good a business opportunity for her and all this stuff. But then we find out that, you know, the dude sits here and says some comment about that he see the pictures of the laptop on on your laptop of us. And she begins to laugh. You know, that even makes it worse. She didn't say, like, you know, this shit wasn't too recent or they still don't have no feelings. Because she, you know, because you know how somebody, when you be saying certain shit, and you know, you know, and uh-uh, this ain't going down. or never went down. It's been a long time ago. And I'm like, uh-uh. No. Mm -mm, cut that shit out. Mm -mm. She didn't even say that. She fucking laughing like it's funny. It's like, what damn photos do you have on there? And why the fuck are they still on your damn laptop? And then he let it be known that she still talks to this dude, that she's still fucking him, because he's like, you know, will you tell me about C's and stuff like that, whatever it is in the situation. Just I'm saying, Tiffany's still there. That's how they look at Tiffany so much, being like she has no opinion on when she kisses Duchess' ass, or Duchess just knows that shit's going to go her way, that it's not going to matter. So basically, he's like, no, like, I just want to take out that situation. But he was like, oh, it used to be all about sex and all this stuff. And then we realized we have a good connection. So like I said, they still fucking with each other. Dirty Duchess, you're wrong. Okay? I don't care. Like I said. And then the uh, scene, she ends up fast forward, right? Because that's pretty much like was kind of like the light of the episode. But we fast forward. And two days went by. And I think I probably went up a scene, but you know how random we always. It's my first time watching. I am type of person that jumps sometimes from scene to scene, whatever. And um, she ends up saying um to sees like damn near two two days later that she met and had this meeting. And I don't know Tiffany. I guess we'll Tiffany explain what that is. Her place to tell me, which is true. But then what I'm saying is she sat here and tells them on the way to the family picnic. Or uh, barbecue, whatever, sees, sees family members, siblings, and decides to tell, oh, by the way, I met and I see my ex there. And even sees was kind of like, you know, okay, have you seen him there? Why? You didn't turn away. And then, you know, they haven't, like I said, they're having drinks and shit. It's like, sees, you know, the rusted wheels are slowly turning about the shit. But he must have not known what the fuck she was wearing, too. I mean, not to say you can't have business casual meetings and shit, not everything always had to be like professional, fashion, you know, um, suit and tie shit. But at the same time, she came in there like as if it was not more business. She sat near the dude. They up here laughing. Like I said, something, something going on. That. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so she's just which making it seem like, oh, I, I did not know. I did not know. Okay. And so anyways, well, Dirty Duchess continues on with her bullshit with the cases. They end up going there. And he decides to ask little Tiffany, because Tiffany on the wall, and she decides to actually open her mouth to a certain point. She does tell Cease the truth that she was like, basically, you know what I'm saying, like insecure. They were flirting with each other, blase, blase. And she could tell still some feelings between them, talk about the laptop photos. And then Cease is like, fuck this shit, and leaves the barbecue and leave her there. So Ty, she decides to talk to Ty, but see, the thing is, Ty's a boy's a reasoning that don't play no bullshit, because he first was letting her know about once he got out the guy there, and he's like, you, you shouldn't even not done the shit, you shouldn't have walked away, and that's when she does a cry and brings up her heart condition, okay, and that was the last scene, because she got to sit here and cry, oh, I'm about to have surgery, blah, 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 see, that's what I'm saying is, your ass gonna be in the hospital, or when something happens to your ass, nobody gonna give a fuck, because it's like you're sitting here and playing this, you, that's your manipulation is you bring up, oh, I'm going through all this, my family, you know, and just like what she was saying, the car forgot to mention to y'all, she gonna claim like, you know, she let them know that it's all about the loyalty to black ink. No, it's not, bitch, you're a manipulated ass bitch, and if he's still with you, and I mean, I know that's their personal business, yeah, I hope he feel like a damn fool watching this damn episode. I mean, in the previews, it was like him and Puma are going through things or whatever, and I don't know if they're ever going to repair their fr a friendship at least or be cordial enough that they can be see high and by and not be on some hater shit or at least from seizing them side. 
I mean, because he look, they look like they might be possibly they he did go to Bachelor's party and they do seem to talk, but like I said, that's in the snippets. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Everybody, you know, you got Ty, you got Sophie, you know, C's other sister, and then they all cool by y'all and stuff like that. Cause she all, <laughs> and I feel her the C's is not gonna trust me. Get the tears, the tears. Bitch, you got a master degree in business, not in acting, sweetheart. Work on it, work on it. I mean, you know, your mask is off. Okay, dirty duchess. All right, we 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 know you, sweetheart. We know you, and you know you're dirty, Duchess, for a reason. Dirty Diana has a little sister called. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyways, y'all, um, I'll thank you, everyone from the subscribers. I love you, love you, love you all. Thank you, my B. Some more love. Um, 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 self esteem queen. I'm about to. Too many S's back to back. Okay. The Ghetto View. Okay. Mystic. I think I got it right. And everyone else was love support. I'm just a sub two years. And thank you for also Jay from Up the Discussion. Uh, thank you for all the love support and everyone else's names that I probably got on subscribers. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you to all the little YouTubers that have shown me love. And I appreciate it because y'all keep me doing it because I mean, nobody wants to see my shit. Why the hell would I keep doing this? Well, I'll see y'all in the next videos. I'm going to try to get these up as soon as I can. You know, take some breaks. Take care of some dick. Do some more. You, know, you, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> so, anyways, y'all, take care, everybody. Have a pleasant morning. Have a pleasant weekend. Pleasant afternoon. Just pleasant everything, y'all. Y'all take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>